Welcome to the lab. That's where all the adventures are. Move around and explore. If you see something interesting, click on it. Have fun! Use your mouse to roll the ball around the Mobius strip. The Mobius strip is a special mathematical object because it only has one side. You can see this when you roll the ball around it. Notice that the ball has to circle twice to get back to where it started. When you're ready to roll back to the lab, just click. Welcome to the Living Blackboard. Click on any of the drawings to explore a different mathematical idea. The length of the outside of a circle, known as its circumference, is a little more than three times its diameter. The exact amount is such a special number that it has its own name. That name is pi. This is a graph of the equation y equals sine x. Functions like sine are called periodic functions because they repeat at regular intervals. This is a graph of the equation y equals cosine x. If you compare this graph with the one for y equals sine x, you will see that it is exactly the same, only shifted one quarter of a cycle. Mathematicians would say that these two waves are 90 degrees out of phase. This is a graph of the equation y equals tangent x. As the y value gets very large, either positive or negative, the curve grows ever closer to the vertical lines, but it never reaches them. Mathematicians say that the curve approaches the line asymptotically. This is a graph of the equation y equals cotangent x. It looks a lot like the graph of y equals tangent x, but there are differences. Can you spot them? This is a graph of the equation y equals 1. No matter what value along the x-axis is chosen, y still equals 1.
This is a graph of the equation y equals x. Because the line rises along the y-axis at the same rate as it runs along the x-axis, we say that the line has a slope equal to 1. This is a graph of the equation y equals x squared. Notice that for negative values of x, y is still positive because a negative number squared is positive. This is a graph of the equation y equals x cubed. Here, negative values of x give negative y's. That's because when a negative number is cubed, the result is negative. Move your mouse left and right to graph the area under this curve. The process of determining the area under a curve is called integration. Integration is the basis of a branch of advanced mathematics called calculus. Move your mouse left and right to graph the steepness of the curve. Graphing the steepness or slope of a curve is called taking the derivative. Notice how this reverses the process of integration. One of the first mathematical theorems describes the relationship between the sides of right triangles. If the length of each side is squared, then the area of the two smaller squares is equal to the area of the larger one. This relationship is called the Pythagorean Theorem.